raise your hand up if you know you're someone that cannot go on being angry with anyone for long. I've got good news for you. You live longer. Hello everyone, welcome back to all of our relationships with Mabel Egedi. If you're new to this channel, can you please kindly click on the subscribe button and be a part of this green community. To this topic, be in control of your anger and don't let your anger be in control of you. Don't let your anger ruin you. Anger itself has a negative connotation around it, but it is not necessarily a bad thing. It is a response. It's a natural human response to how it's a natural human response. It's a natural human emotion. You know? And what is emotion? Emotion is energy plus motion. So anger is an it's 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 energy in motion in our body, and this response can be quite automatic. So when somebody makes you um, when you when you feel threatened, yeah. When someone does things that is not in alignment with your spirit, is not in alignment to the way you see things, you react, you know? So how you react is what is most important here. The way you handle anger, you know, is what is most important here. Because if you don't handle anger appropriately, if you're not able to control your anger appropriately, it could lead to domestic abuse. It could lead to physical assault. It could lead to frustration. It could lead to destructive behavior. It could lead to rejection at your workplace. It could lead to, you know, rejection from your social circle, you know. So in order to avoid all of these occurrences to happen, you need to learn to manage your anger appropriately. So when you're angry, take some time out to think about, you know, what just made you angry, even though sometimes you, do, you don't even have, you know, the chance to be able to take some time out because sometimes it, it's quite automatic, you know, so depending on what is going on or what made you angry, but the best way would be for you to be in control of your anger and express yourself in a very constructive way, take some time out and speak to the other person without um, hurting the other person. You speak to the other person without coming off as abusive. Because if you don't control your anger, yes, you would come off as abusive. You will come off as disrespectful. So you need to learn to manage your anger. You know, I am angry, but I'm in charge here. And whenever, you know, you snap, you speak to someone in a way that is not nice, after having the time to recollect things, you know, and think about things, you go back to the person and say, I'm really sorry for how I spoke to you the other time. Because this is the only way that you can have peace of mind. If you don't do this, in fact, do you know that anger can harm your general well-being? It would affect your health. That is another consequence of anger that not only would it make you come off as someone that has a very destructive um, behavior. It would also harm your health. Anger, when you're angry, yeah, there is a release of adrenaline. Your heart rate and your blood pressure goes up. You risk having stroke. You can see yourself that when you're angry, you can see sometimes your hand starts to tremble. Your muscles, it tightens like, <laughs> you see, all of this expression is really negative. You start to feel very nervous, very anxious. You feel stressed. And with stress comes different, you know, diseases. Stress affects our general well-being. So you see, the opposite of stress is when you're in a calm state. You can feel yourself like, I feel calm. I'm at peace with myself. And all of a sudden, that tension, it disappears. That headache, it's gone. You, you're not feeling that headache anymore. That palpitation you were feeling in your chest is all gone. What happened? It's because you're more at peace with yourself. And by so doing, you feel much healthy with yourself. So learning to be in control of your anger is, f is for your own benefit. Learning even to apologize, you know, be responsible, take out, be accountable and say, yes, what you did to me 
is wrong but how I reacted is also wrong and I apologize when you're doing this it's not only that you're trying to be the bigger person or you're trying to be responsible it's also you trying to take care of your health because you see all of these health challenges that comes with anger or issues that comes with anger it would shorten your life so imagine that because you're seriously being angry about something that you'd be like how bad is this thing that is making you so angry that you cannot let go or you cannot find a way to speak and express your feelings and express your stance to the other person without being angry like is that thing most more important than your health like i cannot allow this bad energy ruin my health or ruin my life i would not give it that much importance i rather take time out to think about things and come back don't even try to suppress it because suppressing it would not help you you're now beginning to gather all of these negative emotions inside of you it's eating you up you need to release it speak about it in a very constructive way like you learn to express yourself constructively you know so that you can feel at peace with yourself there is no need allowing this negative emotion which is natural you know to human it's a natural response something happens sometimes it's more like a flight and fright you know emotions in humans that comes up like oh god you know i feel threatened by your actions by the things you say and i have to react because i don't want you to you know fall over and walk over me like that so i am expressing myself to you but i want to do that without harming you and without harming myself and i want to do that with us getting a leeway a way forward so that you don't repeat that action or say those things to me next time and i won't have to be see myself in this position again wherever i'm feeling you know this adrenaline rush i'm feeling all of this tightness in my muscles you know in my face i feel like i'm clenching my face you don't need to do that it will ruin you it will ruin you again nobody is perfect but we're all trying you know to become perfect in different ways or, or the other and there is no one in this world i would say they've never been angry or they've never you know snapped at someone but i need you to learn to overcome it i need you to be in control of your anger and if you know that you're this kind of person that you don't know how to control your anger you need to go and seek help from a therapist go online look for different ways there are anger management classes online look for different ways that you can help you know find ways to you know be in control of your anger to manage your anger so that it does not ruin you and slowly slowly with all of those baby steps with all of those things that you're beginning to practice you know it comes to perfection or close to perfection which is actually very good okay guys I hope you've learned one or two things today. Bad energy stay far away. You always have to be happy, 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 happy. Nobody is going to come and ruin your life, take away from your take some years away from your life. You would never give anybody, you know, that chance to take some years away from your life because you deserve to live a healthy, a happy and a long life. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Please Subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Like and share this video and help see this community grow. Take care. Bye-bye.